Oh my god, what are Rick and Ryan up to now? It's time for the Slightly Warped Podcast. All right, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Slightly Warped Podcast. Um, this is the show where we talk about anything and everything. Show, uh, how was your Memorial Day uh, weekend? Um, uh, fairly decent. Just kind of laid back, you know. Uh, did a little fishing, did a little bike riding, did a little barbecuing. Nice. I did absolutely nothing nothing Um, at all nothing at all i laid around the house all weekend it was it was one of the best weekends that i've had in a long time because i didn't have to do anything didn't need to do anything and didn't do anything there you go any other time i would have went and visited somebody or would have barbecued myself or anything like that not this weekend this week it's never was... okay to barbecue yourself you should barbecue other things besides yourself but hey teach is uh-huh. all i guess uh-huh. uh, i i like what you did there yeah no <laughs> no no not that kind of uh long pork um <laughs> <laughs> and that was slightly warps joke of the day moving on all right this one can be seen as kind of funny or kind of not, I want to start the show off with it. For everybody that's right. familiar with the Indy 500, I guess the singer-songwriter Jewel, haven't heard from her in forever, uh, she sang the national anthem. And people are pissed about it, or they're commending her about it. And if I look at the um, some of the things that people are saying, let's see here. They're saying that she disrespected the anthem because she rearranged it and everything. That's what most people are saying. Now, me personally, I don't feel that she disrespected it in any way just because she rearranged the music for it. The lyrics were still the same. And what I want to do before we talk about it is play it for you. That way you know exactly what's going on here. Let's do it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, to honor America, please remain standing and remove your hats as award-winning singer-songwriter Jewel performs our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see? Thank you. 
Okay, so um, let me first start off by saying that the arrangement, I have no problem with the arrangement because several artists have tinkered with the arrangement. And if I'm correct, the writer was Francis Scott Key who wrote the lyrics, not the music. So you can pretty much sing it how you want because it's based on the spirit of America. She's not degrading America in any way. She was a little off key if you ask me in a few spots, but that's a whole nother thing. Show? Uh, what, what's the question? Well, several people are saying that she disrespected the national anthem. I didn't see any disrespect in there. I sang along right with her, so no, I, I don't see no disrespect. I mean, uh, every person that sings, you know, like that changes the the riffs and the runs and all that stuff. So, I mean, just this year's Super Bowl when Chris Stapleton sang it, I mean, he didn't sing it, you know, Da, 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 da. You know, he had the right. guitar playing in the background. So, yeah, no. Nah. Screw him I, if he can't I, take a joke. It's just fine. I feel like each artist is there to put their stamp on it because that's the reason why they asked that artist to do it. I mean, if if I condone and the home of the Chiefs at Arrowhead, this isn't going to bother me. Yeah, I, I'm ready. Theoretically, fan. I, don't, I don't even see that as defacing. I mean, anything. theoretically, that is disrespectful because you're changing the words. You know, that's what people say. But I'm all right with it. So, but you're changing the words. But is it really disrespectful? Because it's true. If you're in Arrowhead Stadium, you are in the home of the Chiefs. Right, but they sang it at the Super Bowl. I mean, you know, anytime there's a crowd, I mean, we'll be we'll be in Vegas, and you're here in the home of the Chiefs. So, well, I mean, Chiefs fans do that. That's their thing. That's yeah. their so, I mean, but some people would find that disrespectful, but no, no, I don't. I don't think it was anything wrong with it. You know, I liked your guitar. I thought that was a beautiful guitar. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good with it. Typical American getting upset over stupid stuff. Pretty much. And there we go again. We're the Sue happy, but hurt society that we are fast becoming. Yes. All right. I asked you a question the other day, and I want to pose it to everybody listening to. I, I, I ran across some baseball scores when I was just um, surfing the web. Sue me, because we're in a sue happy but hurt society. But I actually forgot that baseball was going on. Am I wrong because yeah, of that? It's easy to do because the Royals suck so bad. You know, what are they so. like 17 and 30 something now? I'm surprised they won that many games, to be honest with you. But yeah, no, and you know, the other thing too, and I hope like NFL and the NBA and things like that don't go to it, but you have to stream baseball games just to watch them. Like, you cannot find a Royals game on regular TV here in Kansas City unless you have a particular streaming service. That isn't the big wigs. Yeah, so, that's one of the things I hate about baseball. And to a certain degree, the NBA has traveled in that direction for certain games. And I don't like that. I mean, but you'll always have a TBS, you know, late game or, you know, the Christmas games, things like that. But like, I mean, you'll see, like, if you have WGN, you'll get to see the Cubs. But like, if you, yeah. like, here in Kansas City, being a Royals fan, uh, you know, fair weathered, obviously, because, you know, miss me with the baseball season. I don't care. But, you know, there isn't no way to actually watch it, except you just listen to it on the radio. And mm -hmm. actually, that's more enjoyable than actually sitting and watching it on television because the game is so freaking slow. Yeah. And I agree with you. Although they, they mm -hmm. have done some changes to speed it up. That's true. They've got the pitch clock down, which is really fun to, to listen to the radio people talk because they have to tell their stories in between. Get the it all in it's before like every 20 seconds. Yeah. 
So a, a normal story that might take five minutes takes 25 minutes because they, you know, I was walking down the street just a bit outside, second pitch, <laughs> you know, and they just keep moving along. So now, if this happened in the NFL, I would be perturbed. I'm already on the verge of not watching the NFL this year. We'll get to that later. Um, but this would send Why? me over the edge. Well, I don't see the I don't mm-hmm. see the NFL doing it just because it is America's game. So that I don't baseball. first. I I don't see. You know, baseball lost that when they went through the strike. Yeah. So that strike here, but you know, I, I don't foresee. Do I foresee more streaming um, platforms for NFL? Yes. Do I see it as a complete take it out of the market and you have to pay blah, blah, to get it? Not necessarily. That's right, because the NFL is already on, uh, what is it? Is it uh, Nickelodeon and Amazon? Yeah, well, Nickelodeon is a regular old channel you can get on any yeah. cable TV. But yeah, they're, they have a, I think the Thursday night game is on Amazon. And then this year, one of the playoff games is only going to be on one of the streaming, I think Peacock. I I don't know. One of them is only going to be on one of the streaming, one of the playoff games is only going to be on the streaming service. However, for instance, if it's Kansas City, let's say it's Kansas City's game, which I doubt if they would do that because they're Super Bowl champions. But let's say if they were, uh, the local Kansas City market TV would plug that for the people that don't have those streaming services in the Kansas City area. They don't do that for the Royals. That's true. It, uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that, first of all, because that would it perturb me like none other. And not that I foresee my team getting in the uh, tournament this season, but I would feel for anybody whose team was in there and that one special playoff game that you were counting on was the one that was on the streaming service and you couldn't get it or for whatever reason it was unavailable to you. Yeah, that that would suck. For sure. Will you stop doing that? Can you what do that doing? or is that just me? No, I I was trying to close something. They kept doing this bell in my ear, so I didn't know if I was the only one that could hear it. I was like, I'm looking up the next topic. I swear I'm not making I'm, any noise. <laughs> I'm talking to the voices in my head. Shut up. That's why we're slightly warped, folks. That is correct. Some days okay. more than others. That is also true. Um, let's look up this thing here because I want to, you know, dive into the NFL. And uh, one of I my wanna... favorite subjects. We're talking about uh, ranking all thirty-two teams starting quarterbacks in the NFL. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. You just have to pull them all up. Well, yeah. There was an article, and I was just going to see if we agreed with it. Yeah, it's from NFL.com, though. So the thing is, I don't know if they've taken into account. Uh, any changes? Guess we're about to find out here. Say so the one I'm looking at does have the changes on NFL.com. I'm actually looking at CBS. That's probably but the best you, one. but no, no, no. You look at the NFL one. I'll look at the CBS one, and we'll compare them. Well, I'm trying to make sure that this is the right thing here because from number one to 32. What in the heck? Yeah, see, this is this is an old article because this has got the guy that I want to talk about later, but he is no longer a patriot. Who's that? Jimmy Garoppolo. He hasn't been a Patriot in years, brother. Exactly. That That's why I'm wondering why this was up here. Oh, how old, how old was that one? It said 2017, I think. Oh. Rot row. There we go. 
2023. That's what I want. Because I'm pretty sure you guys are not rolling with uh, Alex Smith anymore. Man, neither is he with his bum leg. But that was just wrong, so I will move on. <laughs> God bless you, Alex Smith. Since we're talking about the Chiefs, um, obviously, obviously the number one ranked uh, QB is Patrick Mahomes. Quick note, no though. No question. You would think that he holds the all-time passer, uh, all-time yardage for the Chiefs right now. He does not. Yes, he does. Lenny Dawson still owns that. No, he passed him. He passed Lenny Dawson in 2020. Did he? Yeah. What was that thing that I was looking at then right there? I'm pretty positive. Or he passed every other record. See, I think he got him in a couple other things. There we go. Where are the Chiefs at? No, Lynn Dawson still has 28,507 yards. He's still listed as the all-time leader. All-time passing leader. If he if if he's got it, he's barely got it. He's going to lose it really soon. This is what going to be a Mahomes sixth year. Okay, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. Uh Lenny's got 28,500. Patrick has 24,241. So basically, for all intent and purpose, he's going to pass another year, this year. Another year or two. Yeah. I mean, depending. I, I mean, I don't. He, if he gets 5,000 yards, maybe, but I mean, no, that's even. Yeah. That's 24, 28. Yeah. He'd have, to, he'd have to have another hell of an MVP season. But I'd say within two years, he'll have it. Oh, yeah. If he doesn't get it this year, he'll definitely get it next year. I mean, I mean, but, you know, it's not like it, it's not like he had a whole big list to chase down, you know. Alex yeah. Smith is number four. And to put this into perspective, Steve DeBerg is number I six. was going to ask you where Steve DeBerg All was. Right. That was the golden Steve, boy. <laughs> Steve DeBerg is number six. Elvis Gerback is eight. And Matt uh, Castle is nine. Fuck, Joe Montana's 11. <laughs> wow. That's interesting. And I'll go over every team's uh, all-time passer uh, leader at some point. So do uh, you want to go from one to the 32 or 32 to one? Well, the, the article that I'm on started at uh, number one. But, I mean, I can, like, scroll down and back back it up because we can That's start. What I did. We can start with garbage. Uh, for the New yes. York Jets, he and see, this is why I say this thing is still old. Zach Wilson is not the starter for the Jets, so he should not be number 32. Yeah, this one says 32 is Sam Howell for the Washington Commanders. That that sounds about right. Number 32. Uh, number 31, I've got Davis Mills in uh, Houston. They have Desmond Ritter from the Atlanta Falcons. Dang, that's, that's kind of cold in this the dude's rookie year give him a chance speaking of the falcons though they got matt ryan right ranked number 30th matt ryan doesn't even play for them no not he for, played the falcons. for the colts last year yeah it's got the colts on here but it's got oh, him at gotcha. number 30 but you said speaking of the falcons well uh, just because he used to play for the falcons i got you this and, is and, and there's a connection to matt Ryan. and i'll get to later on when we get to the raiders all right, number 30, my list, Baker Mayfield, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think he would have moved up simply because of how he played for the Rams last year. Lucky son I'm of just, a bitch. I'm just reading this list. What, what do you mean, lucky son of a gun? What, what's it, what do you mean? I mean, if he you didn't look do at the, nothing. I know, but if you look at the situation he left and the situation that he came to, because he was one play away from being kicked out of the league. For real, nobody wanted him, and then he True lucked that. into he lucked into a good good offense, and True you know, I mean, they didn't win anything, but it made him look good, so he can definitely latch on to another team. So, uh, Taylor Heineke, number twenty nine on my list. On this list, Mac Jones from the New England Patriots, number twenty nine. Wow, that dude gets no respect. Uh, number twenty eight, Deshaun Watson. Number 28 on this list is Kenny Pickett, Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. 
Wow. Um, I can see it, but I kind of can't because I think I think he's got some upside. He's got some upside. Ooh, this is disrespectful right here. This is just this is just ranking them before the season starts. Yeah. This is all this this is. This is disrespectful right here. Number 27, Russell Wilson. I would have gave the brother <laughs> 25 or something. Uh this one is number 27, CJ Stroud for the Texans. Mm, yeah, I can see that. My number 26 is Mac Jones. This one is Anthony Richardson, Indianapolis Colts quarterback. Mm. Number 25, Marcus Mariota. He's not starting, though. It's just That's, got him on this cause, list. Yeah, because Desmond Ritter is the starter for the Falcons. Um, you said 25, Ryan Tannehill, Tennessee Titans. That's disrespectful right there. Come on, give the brother number 20 or something. Number 24, Sam Darnold. Number 24, Jordan Love, Green Bay Packers. Number 23, Matt Stafford. Ouch. Didn't he win a Super Bowl a couple of years ago? He did. Uh, <laughs> number How 23. How soon they forget? You're going to love these. Number 23, Jimmy Garoppolo, Las Vegas Raiders. That sounds about right. Number 22, Andy Dalton. Number 22, Derek Carr, New Orleans Saints. Number 21, Derek Carr, New Orleans Saints. 21, Bryce Young, Carolina Panthers. Okay, and I want to stop right there. You cannot tell me in this world. I know how you feel about Carr. You know how I feel about Carr. You can't tell me that Bryce Young is a better quarterback than Derek Carr. NFL quarterback? No, not necessarily. But if you just pure athletic ability... Bryce Young will beat Derek Carr in that aspect. But this is just a preseason ranking, you know. That's true. You know, That's so it's not true. it's not it's we'll 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 revisit this later in the year. Definitely. Uh number 20, can he pick it? Number 20 on my list, Kyler Murray. Mm hmm Number 19, this is more where I thought he would be. Ryan Tannehill. Number 19 on my list, Russell Wilson. Number 18, Daniel Jones. Wow. Number 18, Matt Stafford. Wow. Number 17, Kirk Cousins. <laughs> 17, Tua Tagovailoa. Mm. Uh, now, he's about where I would think he would be on a list. And I haven't even got to him yet, so I'm scared where this is going to have him. Number 16, Kyler Murray. 16, Justin Fields. Number 15, Brock Purdy. 15, Daniel Jones. 14, A. A. Ron Rogers. 14, Geno Smith. Wow, I forgot he was still in the league. <laughs> I didn't mean to be cruel. I did he not took, mean to be cruel. He took Russell Wilson's spot. Yeah, that's true. Number 13, Justin Fields. I wonder if we're at, if besides number one, are we gonna be hitting it that, on That's what I'm that's what I'm I'm pretty sure top five is gonna be close. Number well, we're on number 13. Yeah. Uh Jared Goff, Detroit Lions. Mm. Number 12, Lamar Jackson. Wow. Number 12, Brock Purdy. Number eleven. I see that's how I know this list is a few months too old. Tom Brady. <laughs> Although number 11, <laughs> number 11, Kirk Cousins. Number 10, Dak Prescott. We're close. Number 10, Deshaun Watson. Number 9, Geno Smith. Number 9, Dak Prescott. Wow, we are getting close indeed. Uh, number eight, Jared Goff. I think it's ranked too high for Jared, but okay. Number eight, Trevor Lawrence. Number seven, Tua Tagliavia. Oh, that's way too high for him. Exactly. Number seven on this list, Lamar Jackson. Okay. 
And that's about where I think Lamar would be. Number six, Trevor Lawrence. Number six, Aaron Rodgers. Number five, Justin Herbert. Ding, ding, ding. Number five, Justin Herbert. <laughs> Finally, we got a match. That means this these next three are going to be interesting. Number four, Josh Allen. Number four, Josh Allen. <laughs> that means number three is Joe Burrow. And oh. three, Jalen Hurts. Really? My number two was Jalen Hurts. Number two, Joe Burrow. So we were off on, on two and three. And obviously we agree that number one is Patrick Mayholmes. Mine says Derek Carr. Then yours is right. That's when we're going to call Nope. It does say Patrick Mahomey. Mahomey. No, but, uh, you know, speaking of Carr, uh, on, the, on the side, I will be rooting for the Saints heavily because I believe that he got a raw deal and it's showing more and more the incompetence that's going on in Vegas right now. Have you heard about Jimmy Garoppolo's contract? No. Apparently there's an out because he may never play a down in Vegas. He requires foot surgery. And if he's not ready to play by the time the season starts, uh, they're going to either put one of the two rookies out there, which Devontae Adams is not going to be happy about, or they're going to try to get a veteran like uh, Matt Ryan. Wow. All this came what? out the last couple days. When is he having foot surgery? I think he's scheduled to have it this week. And he says that with that timetable, he should be okay to start training camp. He won't be a part of mini camp. Why did he wait so long? That I do not know. Usually with players, they try to see if they can rehab it without surgery. Who's and the Saints head coach? Dennis, you know? uh, Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen. I thought that was his name. You have to look that up, see if I'm right. <laughs> Dennis Allen. Who the heck is Dennis Allen? He actually coached right, the Raiders man. way back in the day. He's the one that drafted Derek Carr. Ah. Well, I am looking that up here. And while you're looking that up, they have a consultant that they brought on board in New Orleans, a one John Gruden who's helping to coach Carr and the offense for the next few weeks. So that's going to be interesting. A consultant, eh? Yeah. So. Yep, that's that's Dennis Allen already. So for all intent and purpose, John Gruden is back in the NFL, whether the commissioner wants him there or not. <laughs> it ain't going to help him. Well, when you look at that division, I mean, yeah, they they could win that division with a 500 record. I don't know. Baker Mayfield was going to give him a run for his money. And then who's the who's the Panther? Oh, and then you got the rookie for the Panthers, CJ Stroud. There you go. Yeah. See, that's we're going to know for sure who's who's hot dog in that division cuz we talked about Derek Carr and CJ Stroud. So we'll see. That is true. We'll see who it is. Uh, side note for NFL, where's Hopkins going to go? Um, wow, that's a th who's got the money? That's the question. Who's got the money? Depends Buffalo, what he wants to do. Buffalo would like him, but I don't think Buffalo can afford him. Depends what they do. He could do a Juju Smith type deal one and year. He, he could end up with the Chiefs like that. True. No, I mean, but he could do it with any of the – he could do it with the Bengals. He could do it with the Bills. Any of those with those high-profile quarterback teams, uh, you know, one good year and then get a big deal with somebody else the following year like Juju did with the Patriots. Um, I'll be honest. I don't really know if the Chiefs want him for – I mean, yes, it would be a toy, but do you really want to distract from it, the, the nucleus of what they're building? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm if we be signed him, would you? I be upset? No. The way Andy runs that doing. team, the way Andy runs that team, I don't think it would be much of a distraction. I think the biggest distraction that the Chiefs have is Mahomes' brother. 
I'm not I don't I don't mean it as being a negative distraction. I mean the camaraderie between the youngsters. You know, not you're you're not you're a rented player. You're a Deion Sanders. I mean, not yeah. that that bad, but you weren't Deion Sanders, yes, he's going to be remembered for two back-to-back Super Bowls, one with the Niners, one with the Cowboys, but you really don't remember him being a 49er. You know what I mean? It happened so fast. When we think about it, Juju's not going to be remembered as a chief. That's true. So, but I'm looking for, we should probably, we'll probably know, I'd say within a week or so where he's going. Yeah. And real quick before it'd be, we close it out, it'd be funny I, I if he will... went to Baltimore. Well, that's where um, Odell uh, went. Odell went, yeah. And Odell was thinking, hey, we'll have that contract re- re- uh, resolved with uh, Lamar. So, hey, piece of cake. Yeah. <laughs> they got it resolved. Oh, they did get it resolved. Oh, yeah, he signed. Okay. I, I didn't think that he got Okay. So, yeah, he signed right. just before the draft. Okay. 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 All right, never mind then. Never mind then. Lamar, okay, do your thing, Lamar. Um, woo! Some people in Baltimore are breathing a big sigh of relief then. Just real quick, it says the team's in order to, to land Hopkins. The Bills, Chiefs, Lions, Ravens, Panthers, Texans, Cowboys. Those are the teams that are in it. I can see all those teams. We already mentioned the Bills and the Chiefs because that's how I think he would land. Um, Lions is a good possibility because they are building something special in Detroit. Um, Cowboys, uh, Jerry Jones, do you really want to go into that shit show? Um, I don't know. Yes. (laughs) Texans were the team that drafted him. You know, it might go back home. I don't know. We'll see. And, And who'd you say the other team was? There was another team on that list. Uh, the Panthers. Yeah, I wouldn't go to the Panthers. That's the one place that I'm sure he won't go to. They're not ready. He's looking for a team that's ready, you know? Yeah, he he wants a ring. Yeah. Panthers ain't it. Panthers ain't been good since the first run with Cam. I had to clarify that because I forgot he came back and he was dog shit. So the Broncos destroyed him in the Super Bowl. They haven't been the same since. That's true. All right, show. We're getting ready to weird, get on up out of here. But weird stat: DeAndre Hopkins only was in Arizona for three seasons. He's mm-hmm. only he only scored seventeen touchdowns. Wow, really? And less than three thousand yards. Hmm. Two thousand six hundred and ninety-six so yards. Yeah, just put it into perspective. Sorry, I know we're cutting short on time. No, that, that's a good stat. I appreciate that. Ah, Yeah, so real real quick preview. When we come back next week, I do want to go over the all-time passing leaders because I've got that list, and I want to talk about that next week because there are some names. Some of these teams on here, you're like, you've had shit for quarterbacks for damn near two decades. I feel sorry yep. for you. Yep. Woo, thank God my team's not on that list. Um, <laughs> but all right, show, take us on out of here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate the support. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and, uh, you know, God bless you. We'll see you next week. Love each other. And uh, tomorrow's my promise. See you next week. See you guys.